Hello everyone. So uh, in this question, we'll solve a similar question that we had solved in, in our previous video. So before proving this, we should know one result which says that which says so if m is odd, then this is always divisible by x plus one. Here, so suppose. n equals to a b for some a and b right then and if n is odd right if n is odd then 2 to the power 1 is always divisible by 2 plus 1 that is 3. So, if n is odd, then our number is always divisible by 3, hence not prime. How? For example, 2 to the power 1 plus 1 is 3. This one is trivial, which is prime. Okay. So, we should uh, take now 2 to the power 3 plus 1 is 9 and this is equals to 3 into 3, which is not prime. Likewise, 2, 5 plus 1 is 33 and 3 into 11, which is not equals to prime and so on. You will see that every odd number is multiple of something, right? And hence, not equals to prime. It means n is equals to even, right? If n equals to even and n equals to ab, then let's say that a equals to 2 because even number then one prime factor is always 2. Another one is B. Now, if you take 2 to the power n plus 1, then 2 to the power we can write 2 we can write 2 to the power a b plus 1 and 2 to the power 2b plus 1 and this is is equals to 2 to the power 2b plus 1 4 to the power b plus 1 and this one is always divisible by four plus one that is five example say two to the power two plus 1 is equals to 5 multiple of 5. Uh, another example, uh, even, uh, even number like 6. This is equals to 65 and 65 is 5 into uh, 5 into 50, 13 and so on this continues. So, you see, so that if n is even, even one prime factorization contains 2, then this is always composite, not prime. Hence, if 2b plus 1 is always composite, right, it means n cannot be odd, ruled out, n cannot be odd, n cannot be even either where at least one odd factor contains it means n must be having all twos only means only possibly left that it means n has only two in its prime factorization hence n equals to 2 to the power k for some k and here our proof is over and this is proved 